Welcome back YouTubers. This is Marcus Mubelkens, Puntanel. Just going through some tips on the Mark II Rolls. I think that this is the third film in the series to do with the Rolls. Okie dokie. Now from the first one with the Rolls I did a sketch. Um, I showed about the petals and the sections because every piece on this drawing is made up of parts like a, a little jigsaw. And from those parts <coughs> I was able to decide what parts were going to be shaded so that it would create a three dimensional effect. Now those parts I have over here. Now they're all waiting, they've all been burned, they've all been shaded, they're cut over size to allow them to be trimmed back. But now I need to rebuild the, the, the uh, rows. So because there's so many parts, it's very difficult to assemble them without it moving, without gaps appearing, without it breaking, because it's very fragile now, now it's been burned, it's a lot drier. So I have a little trick, and that trick is I, I, I do something which is a, like a sacrificial window. I've traced on, onto this, my, my design, I've covered it over with tape, and I do that because this veneer is quite soft, but that's why I chose it, because it's soft, and it's easy to cut. So I've got my copy of my rules here, that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out a window from the window method, cut one out, find the corresponding part, and then insert it in. And I'm going to do that for all these parts. Now as soon as one links to the next one, I can, I can tape it up and secure it. One links to the next one, I can secure it. And because it's in a veneer structure itself, it stays quite strong. So it's not going to fall apart. Once that's done, I've got my rows in this piece, so all I need to do then is cut the outside edge off, or, or around the outside, and this will come away from this, this, this sacrificial window. And then I can insert my little, my little, uh, my little rows into my veneer work, which is what I've done. So that, that rose is going to fit in there, and that will be actually overlaid and then cut in. So I just thought I'd show you guys how to do uh, a, a very delicate, a very tricky rose and um, yeah, uh, uh, just a few tips on how I do it, how I go about it. Anyway, you'll see this, uh, you'll see the next few stages as I get along and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll see it finished and hopefully to assign a nice fine effect. Anyway, I hope you like the tips I've been giving you guys on marketing and uh, furniture making and uh, for now I've got to get going. Thanks a lot everybody. Keep in touch. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to Twitter and Facebook me, okay? Bye!